So in this presentation, I'm going to talk a little bit about a culture of plants that I personally have with seeding plants, and but also this applies to a lot of other people as well. And you probably might uh, recognize some of these plants that I'm going to be talking about, or maybe uh, recognize a few connections that you have with plants during this presentation as well. Going back to the paper that we read on humans' earliest connection with tobacco plants, I realized that I actually do have a pretty in-depth connection with plants, more so or more than simply providing me with food and certain materials than I had originally thought. So with that being said, let's jump into it. The first cultural aspect that I wanted to talk about was Christmas. Christmas is coming up. And so I thought, well, you know, obviously we, a lot of families and my family in particularly, we use Christmas trees. Christmas trees are gymnosperms and particularly within the group Coniferophyta. The tradition started in Germany, the Christmas tree tradition, and has a religious background. And there's a lot of different uh, theories on, you know, how specifically that came about. Uh, and also, a lot of families put up mistletoe. Mistletoe is a parasitic plant that attaches to the branches of certain trees and uh, grows within the branches, so they don't have roots in the ground. And I'm from Oregon, and we often see a lot of mistletoe growing during the winter season. And there's a lot of different stories on how we use or how we started to use mistletoe, but uh, they are angiosperms, and particularly they fall into the dicot family. The next thing I wanted to talk about was giving flowers. Uh, when I was in high school, going to prom and uh, certain formal dances, you know, we would often uh, wear boutonnieres and corsages if you're a girl. Uh, but also I, I used a bouquet of roses to propose to my wife. And so uh, this is definitely something I'm familiar with. They Roses in particular are angiosperms. They fall within the dicot family. And a lot of essential oils and uh, certain substances are extracted from roses. And a certain study that I wanted to talk about was the these researchers used aromatherapy with rose essential oils to decrease pain intensity after surgery. So what they did is they got a group of 64 children who had just had surgery and they gave half of the children rose oil aromatherapy and the other half almond oil aromatherapy as a placebo. And they measured their pain intensity over a course of 12 hours. And what they found is that the rose almond, sorry, the rose oil aroma, aromatherapy lowered the pain intensity more so than the almond oil by a significant amount. And so the kids that had the rose oil aromatherapy actually had less pain. And so I think that's pretty interesting. The next thing I wanted to talk about was outdoor recreation and relaxation. So in my family, we always had a nice, well-maintained lawn because my dad really liked doing that. It was one of his hobbies. And so we often use that to play sports, stargazing, you name it. And grass is an angiosperm and it falls within the monocot family. And also I've recently picked up hammocking and in particular during general conference, I like to go outside and listen to general conference while in a hammock. The last thing I wanted to talk about was home decor. So in my apartment right now, we have a lot of succulents. Succulents fall within the angiosperm family and they are both monocots and dicots, depending on what, what you look at. Uh, snake plants are another type of plant that I have in my, in my house. And they are angiosperms, but particularly the monocot family. And I think a lot of people like these because they're very hard to kill. They're small and they look nice. And you can easily put them in a pot and leave on vacation, forget to water them for a few months or so. And they will keep on living. And that is my relationship with seeding plants. 
Thank you.